This is the seventh one of these I'm recording today. No! No buzz. I just be book club. What's up? We're talking about Mary Capello's lecture today. Um, this is uh, this is the first book in the uh, Undelivered Lecture series by Transit Books, a series that I'm just absolutely over the moon about. Um, <laughs> it is... Uh, you, you, will, you will have caught this, I assume. Um, Undelivered Lectures is the name of the series. The book is called Lecture. Um, it is a... It is a short, uh, whatever, 120-ish pages, but like small pages, pretty big type, um, with generous margins. Um, meditation on whether lectures matter and how we could make them matter. Um, yeah, it's, uh... My least favorite in the series, honestly. Um, I've got videos on all of the other ones except for um, Namali Serpel's uh, Stranger Faces, um, which is my favorite of them. Um, the whole series is good. Even I, when I say it's my least favorite, I don't mean I disliked it. Um, I I quite liked it actually, um, but it's it's not quite there, I think, in the same way that I, most of the other ones are. All the other ones, um, for me. Um, there's still some great shit in here. I'm not gonna be able to find it, but there's, like, a specific little, um, <laughs> uh, call out about how, f how fuck TED Talks. Um, uh, am I not gonna be able to find it? I would love to find it, actually. Um, bum 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 gonna say give me another like seven seconds uh... not gonna find it uh there's a there's like a bit in here that's basically like um ted talks do not count as lectures uh they they feel something like the uh the sermon on the inform infomercial mount here so there's like good good fucking lines in this thing and i and i think it's I think it's a, it's a good it's a good thing. Um I I'm only down on it in comparison to the other um not even not even in comparison to the other undelivered lectures, but like in comparison to my own experience with them because I've been a person who has not attended a lecture in a decade at this point basically. Um I I've, I've gone to like author talks or like panels and stuff like that in the interim, but I haven't I could. I guess I've been to like a uh, very few conference keynotes, which basically are the same thing as a lecture. Um, but they aren't the same thing as a lecture. Also, um, they they're structurally different. They have, serve a different purpose, even though they do also involve someone standing behind a podium and and talking at you for a significant amount of time. Um, the thing I, I I enjoyed most about Mary Capello's lecture is um that it's like for a for a fairly short essay for a medium length essay probably a long lecture a very short book if those uh, distinctions mean anything and i'm wildly lagging and i i see that and i still don't know if that's gonna show up in the uh end video because i don't watch those because only bees are allowed to watch these and i'm a bee but i'm not gonna do that to myself? Gross. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's like a weirdly comprehensive discussion of lectures in a, in a certain way. Um, it's it's a lot of sort of meandering or meditating on the lecture um, from a person who's clearly given a lot of them. Um, and I say that as somebody who has, again, not really attended one in, in a very long time. Um, even because gosh it's even been a while since i just like watched one on the internet and that's weird um also a different thing but also not a different thing because these are all the undelivered lecture series is specifically started in 2020 because of pandemic stuff so um uh fuck mooks <laughs> uh like the uh 
God, what does that even stand? MOOC, the like um, the venture capital way of of turning university into a uh, into TED talks, basically. Um, not the slur. Um, definitely not that. <laughs> um, huh. That's weird. I kind of wish I edited these. But I don't, so I mean, multi online course things, multi multi something online course M O O C. I I'm, I I haven't thought about that discourse since like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. I don't think. Um, yikes! I feel weird now. As I should. Um, there's a there's a um, there's a comprehensiveness to uh, Mary Capello's lectures book uh, that um, like it's not just about like what is the history of lectures, what is the what is the future of lectures as it, as it sort of starts to set itself out as. Um, there are very good extensive sections of this book that are literally just about taking notes. There's a chapter called Take Note, um, and it's about taking notes and the, the various ways that taking notes interact with lectures. Um, there are extensive asides about um, whether or not it's good that lectures make you want, make you feel sleepy, whether or not it's good to take a nap in a lecture. Um, and I think the, the thing that would have actually sold me off of this book, would have would have turned me off of it, uh, is if uh, the answer had been like, you should never take a nap in a lecture. And instead, it's, it's the opposite. It's the correct thing, which is like, lectures can be not exhausting. They can be exhausting, obviously. Um, but they can, um, they can contribute to somnolence. They can... Um, push you in the direction of sleep because somebody is is talking often in a monotone and that's like just a i mean for me at least that's a wonderful way to go to sleep somebody just kind of saying things in a sort of rhythmic cadence um maybe with a little bit of back and forth but not enough that you're getting um a ton of stimulation from it it's a great way to go to sleep i also go to sleep to comedy podcasts so who the fuck am i kidding um and yeah, and I really appreciated that aspect of of lecture um, that that there is an attention not to just like how do we make lectures good, even though that was kind of the thing that initially put me off of the book. There's a very there's a lot of stuff in the opening that is just this like very broad, like you know, it starts with talking about being like lectured to and lectured at and how those are have negative connotations and how we could do better about lecturing and it has these like opening sort of like broad claims about like what a good lecture is and what a bad lecture is and and they all feel sort of toothless they feel like uh you know a good lecture is 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 open and and uh, willing to listen and a bad lecture is closed and not willing to listen and it's like those are not useful binaries i don't think um and so that when that started i, I got to the point where i was like i'm not sure um this is my shit um and then getting to the point where it was more about responses and just sort of like general like bite-sized thoughts or big fuck yous to ted talks um i was much more on board and um and, and I don't think I'm, like, fully on board with it at all, but I am also just, like with literally everything from this fucking series, really happy to have read it. Um, happy that it exists in the world. Just, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a big fan of the Undelivered Lecture series from Trains of Books. And um, now that I have covered all of them except for the one that is my favorite on this uh, channel... I'm gonna say, hey, hey, you, you, I really appreciate it. Thanks for not watching.